Hi, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio, and today we're going to talk about how to record electric guitar with Reaper using their built-in amplifier cabinet modeler plugin. This comes with Reaper, which is very cool, so it's free as long as you have Reaper. You can also use these plugins to play live if you wanted to sort of use your computer as an amplifier. So let's get right into it. First, let's create a new track. And let's record some clean guitar into that. The way you do that is to just plug your electric guitar into an audio interface. I use a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, but you can use any standard audio interface. And then you will end up with something like this. It's one I recorded earlier. And here's what it sounds like. That's just a clean recording of the electric guitar coming in through the interface. Now here's the cool part. Click on the FX button here. Make sure all plugins is selected. And down here in the filter, type Amp. And you're going to choose the JS Convolution Amp Cab Modeler. JS, by the way, is the Reaper brand of plugin. I mention that because it is not a VST, which is sort of the standard plugin. Anyway, click OK, and here you have the controls for your amp cab modeler. Here's the cool part. Click where it says Model, and you'll see this drop-down menu. These are all of the amplifiers that you get. It's like having, however many, a dozen amplifiers in your house that you didn't have to buy. Well, that's the theory anyway. What happens, though, here is if you just use the default setting with the preamp here set at zero, watch what happens when I click on play. You get this distortion over here, this clipping. It goes severely into the red. Now it doesn't sound bad because distortion on a guitar is kind of what you're going for sometimes, but uh, when you're recording digital audio it's not great. So what we need to do first is let's clear the red by clicking on it and let's use this preamp control and drag that down to about negative 17, I think. We could probably stand it to be a little bit louder. Try negative 13. Okay, so now it plays without giving us any distortion. But what if we wanted the distorted sound, that crunchy rock and roll distorted sound? There's no switch for it on here like there would be on a regular amplifier. So what we do is we add a second effect. Click Add and type Distortion. And you'll see this JS Distortion effect. Let's click that and click OK. And now play. So now you have the nice electric, crunchy, distorted sound, but you don't have all of that clipping in the red. And you can control how much of the distortion that you get. <laughs> Just using those controls. I also mentioned using the amplifier modeler to play live. I don't know if you'd want to do this on stage, but you can do it live and sort of use your computer as an amplifier. So let's get rid of the recorded guitar here and plug your guitar in. You'll notice that there's no effect on the guitar. That's because record monitoring is turned off. What you have to do is turn that on and then you can play it live with the effect. So that is how you can use Reaper and its built-in amp modeler to both record electric guitar and play electric guitar live using those modeled amps.